Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Injustice 2 The Flash. I'm pretty excited to uh, be taking a look at this guy. You know, when I first saw this figure, you know, um, you know, announced, I really didn't like it. I thought it looked weird. But over time, you know, I, you know, it kind of grew on me and also... You know, I wanted to... I feel like it would look better in person. And it does. Um, so far. Well, we gotta get out of the packaging. But, anyways. Let's take a look at the packaging. You can see the DC Multiverse logo. You know, standard DC Multiverse box. And Justice 2 right there. And then, on the side you can see who it is and where it's from. And then you can see the Injustice 2 logo again. Then on the back, you can see the trading card. Which... Uh, okay. And then there is uh, a bunch of other DC Multiverse figures you can't pick up. Um, and I did review all of these, so if you do want to check that out, please do. I uh, have a playlist of... Well, I have another Multiverse figure to review. And that, this is the 49th figure I reviewed um, from the DC Multiverse line. Well, 48th technically, but... 49th video about... This line. Anyways, there's the other side of the box. And nothing on the bottom, I guarantee you. Anyways, let's get this guy opened up and see how cool he really is. Alright, we got the Flash out of the packaging. And I gotta say, I really, really like this figure. Uh, you know, I posted on my Instagram, DougTarnovian underscore YT. Please follow. I post pictures of toys and... Uh, cats and mostly toys. Anyways, yes, so um, I said for the uh, Wonder Woman figure uh, from Last Night on Earth um, set, uh, this year is going to be pretty damn hard to rank these damn figures. And uh, this one, I don't know, this one could crack the top 10, definitely. Uh, but, anyways, let's take a look at the accessories. Uh, first things first, let's take a look at the card. Uh, sigh. Yeah, I, I genuinely do not like this. And, you want to know what's even worse? This is an early model of the figure. It's not even the same figure, really. Uh, it's missing some of the paint in the lower part of the body. Oh, what the hell, McFarlane. Uh, and, I, you know, I mentioned why it's, the, you know, why it's like this. You know, a while ago. Uh, I forget which video. But, come on. You know, that's just... So, honestly, what I'm thinking about doing is... For each figure that comes with, um, you know, a picture of the toy instead of the artwork. Here's the read. Everyone read it. Go ahead and pause it now. There you go. Uh, anyways. So, for each figure that comes with a card like this. And not the actual artwork. I'm just going to try to print out... Uh, the same thing on the, you know, the same size, um, because I have a binder that holds all the cards. So I'm going to, like, print this out and then slide it in here. Maybe I'll try to find a better picture that shows more red, but, yeah. Like, I wish it was this, not that, but whatever. Anyways, uh, he comes with, uh, this, he comes with three lightning bolts, and I, <laughs> I can't figure this one out. I, I I don't know how to put this on. I looked it up and it makes no sense. I don't get why it's a ball. Um, I, I guess it's just so it looks like he's launching something, but that's not really what the Flash does, is it? This one's nice. Um, you know, I wish I could get the arm on this side, but I can only get it on this side. And then this one is probably my favorite, just because it's simple, sweet, and it's supposed to go on the leg, so it is a bit wider. But you can't put it on his arms. So you, and you just slide it through the holes. So, yeah, there you go. It looks good, too. You know, it looks... Like he's running. Anyways. Take a look at The Flash. Uh, you know, I, I played the beginning. Maybe the first quarter. I don't even know. I don't know how long the game is. But I played the first quarter of this game. Uh, Injustice 2. And, I, I you know, even in playing the game, I was like... You know, he does look a little weird. Um, the Flash... Um, but still, you know, it looks good. He has, you know, broad shoulders and everything. But yeah, the face sculpt looks good. I love the eyes. The eyes look super realistic here. So that looks great. 
Um, you can see the nice gold. I love the gold. It kind of has a little bit of a, you know, the, the CW show flash outfit a little bit. You know, it's not like red. Like, wow. Like, oh my god. You know, it's kind of more like a, a maroon color. Which is... I mean, I, I, don't, I don't mind it, but... Yeah, I really like the head, though. Um, th this figure is just really growing on me. I know a lot of people are still crapping on it, but I feel like it, you need to see it in person to really get the full, you know, the full feeling of the figure. But yeah, nice and lightning bolts there. It goes down his arms into his, uh, his wrists. I like this, you know, the, the whatever carbon kind of material here. And it goes on the legs, too. I love the, the, the feet. I love this little effect here. That's great. Uh, his ankles are a little loose on mine, but I might be able to fix that. I don't know. Hopefully I can. But yeah. It's great. You know, I think he is possibly a little bit on the bulky side, but... I You know, like I said, I, I'm really getting used to it. it. It looks a lot better than this. Um, so, yeah. And it does look like the game, too. You know, the face, at least. But, anyways, yeah. And you can see the logo right there. A little sloppy on the paint right there. But, other than that, it looks good. I think that's the only part of the figure that's sloppy. But, the head will look up quite a bit. Look at that. Wow. And you can have him looking down a little bit. And then you get some side-to-side -side motion and turning motion, so that's great. And you get the arms to move out like so. That's awesome. And move these down. You can move the arms in full 360s there. And then you get the bicep swivel in there as well. It does have butterfly joints, so that's nice as well. I keep saying as well. Double joint the elbows. And then he has the uh, ball hinges on the hands. On the wrists, um, I'm getting used to it, honestly. You know, I don't really, I'd, I'd rather the thigh cuts over the no ball joints, but uh, both ab crunches or diaphragm joints get to that much movement there, and then this much back, so that's pretty impressive. You can get some side to side motion there and twisting, and then you can get the hip joints to move out like so, which is nice. You can see the McFarlane joints in there. And you can get them to kick out like so. That's great. And then back quite a bit. Uh, there's a little bit of a hinge in there, but I'm not messing around with it too much. And then you can get the feet to hinge, or the, the double joint needs to go like that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. And then I mentioned earlier, he does have ball joints at his feet, and they are a little loose on my copy, but nothing to worry about there. And uh, toe joints. So yeah, I, I really like this figure. It's, you know, the, he's very poseable. He's very fun to play around with. You know, flash figures are just very fun to play around with and take pictures of. You know, so this is a you know, if you are a flash fan, I feel like this would be a pretty good figure. You know, I think you would like this figure quite a bit. Um, that's just you know my opinion there, but. Anyways, uh, let's do a couple comparisons. So here is, I'm going to try to get him to stand as straight as possible. So here is, obviously... Oh my god, I can't get him there. Okay, there we go. Here is obviously Gorilla Grodd, and yeah, he is horribly, horribly short. Uh, he needs to be up there. Um, but... Still, it's a good figure. I like it. You know, definitely not one of my favorites. But, it's a nice addition. And, uh, yeah, obviously you can have these two fight and everything. So, that's great. They're making, you know, another one Dr. Fate. So, that's cool. Yeah, this is going to be a good addition as well. And then they're making the white version of this. Which I might pick up, but not review. Because um, I do like the look of that. I know some people are like, eh, it's a repaint. But, you know, it's a good figure. You know, and I, and I wouldn't mind getting a second one. Anyways... Here is the comic rebirth edition of Flash. And uh, yeah, these two look great as well. And obviously, you know, the Flash being the Flash, you can have, you know, him running and it being like, ah, oh, different dimensions. 
And then here is Red Death. Why not? He's a, you know, kind of a Flash character there. So, yeah, these three look great together. Um, you know, you can just see, you know, how different McFarlane can be in their um, designs and sculpting and everything. Uh, all three of these figures have nothing shared, I don't think. Uh, maybe the hand, no, I don't even think the hands for these two are the same, but anyways, yeah, these look awesome. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, and uh, yeah, so let me know what you think about this figure. Whoa! And uh, I guess that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Thanks for watching.